So a polar filter is a device which captures magnetite, which is the leading cause of most boiler breakdowns in the UK. And a boiler filter works by having the heating water return into the system at the bottom of the valve, entering the filter, the magnet captures the material and clean water leaves the system. Inside the filter, there's the magnet leg, which captures all the material that's running around the system. Also, on the AD filters that heater will fit, there's an additional section which captures items such as flux or loose debris in the system that the magnet wouldn't attract. So magnetite is essentially sludge and it's caused from radiators eroding over time because they have water in them. That breaks down the radiator and those particles are then carried around the system. As the product is metal, it's magnetic. So the job of the filter is to capture the magnetite. If magnetite isn't captured, what happens is the metal particles enter the boiler and new high efficiency boilers use very, very narrow waterways. So these particulates clog the waterways, reduce the performance of the boiler and ultimately break the boiler. <coughs> Sorry. So the engineers at AD kindly lent us this rig which demonstrates how magnetite is pumped around a central heating system. So here we've got our pump. So on a regular boiler, this would be external to the boiler. On a combi boiler or system boiler, the pump is built into the boiler. Here we have our filter. And these clear tubes contain clear water, which would be heating water. So currently the magnet is engaged and the system is clean. The pump is running. We remove the magnet and the water instantly goes dirty. Now all this black water here contains magnetite. So unprotected, the magnetite is carried around the system. It goes through the pump, which puts extra demand on the pump, which uses more energy. It continues around the system, clogging up radiators, reducing radi radiator performance. And finally, it makes our way back to the boiler. How did I start that then? Okay, 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 okay. This simulates no filter being installed on the system. So this water would enter the boiler, clog up the pipework, clog up the heat exchanger, clog up the diverter valve and start to damage our boiler. When we insert the magnet back into the system, it only takes a couple of passes for the water to start to clear. So it's not actually a requirement to fit a filter with a boiler, but Heatable does. If another fitter fits a filter with their boiler, they may include something like this. This is a smaller filter which captures much less magnetite than the one that Heatable fits. Heatable will install the AD Pro 3. And the AD Pro 3 has a larger canister and also has a button which will give you a real-time indication of the level of magnetite in your system. This can actually be connected to the AD Pro app and you or us can monitor the level of magnetite in the system at any time.